All three devices that we had in the video can be run off the same single MP3300 IEC controller. And in short, all they have to do is to point to the correct mechanism in his project. Once he does that, the controller is going to run the second mechanism. The code is going to remain the same. They will not have to make any changes to the project that he had for the previous mechanism at all. It's just a matter of minutes. The global search and a global replace, just like you do in Microsoft Word or any other Word document. It's probably going to save you weeks, uh, if not months, of programming time. In, in the past, if you had to switch from mechanism to mechanism, you, the controls engineer, would have to derive the equations to run the other mechanism and then go to the drawing board and figure out the details of how motion could be implemented on the new mechanism and then program it again uh, from scratch. Instead, we have taken all that pain and we've done all that, uh, all, all the math and the kinematics and embedded it into our function blocks so the user basically does not have to recreate all the math behind it. It gives, it frees them more time and gives them more time to, to focus on their machine rather than on the code for the machine.